Uh, hi, my name is Chris. Uh, I graduated from the MBA in St. Gallen. Uh, I did the part-time program uh, starting 2014, graduated 2016. Uh, I then joined the consulting industry with KPMG, BCG, and I'm currently working for UBS in Zurich. Um, so Industry Insights in Essence is uh, giving the students an overview into the different key industries within Switzerland. So it's a thing around luxury uh, goods, around FMCGs, around uh, pharma, of course, uh, financial industries, and then consulting in my case. Uh, and it's really giving the students or introducing them to the different corporates that are leading in that space and then, you know, making them familiar with uh, what is the industry about, what's important in the industry. And then also, of course, what career opportunities these certain industries provide for the students. A combination of, I guess, alumni these days as well as corporates. And um, it's always towards the end of the program to really give them kind of, a, you know, a, a really nice overview of this is the industries that are out there and, you know, mo mainly present in Switzerland. So, you know, pick and choose, I guess, what best fits you. Um, in essence, industry insights are really the one chance for MBA students to make up their mind where they go next. And I think it's one of the key decision points for a student, of course. I mean, uh, the education, everything is, is, of course, the other key aspect. But then ultimately, it should all lead up to that next career step. And industry insights really give the students the opportunity to find out what it really is in, you know, like to work in certain industries. And therefore, I think it's a very important aspect of the program. Um, so actually, um, I did not necessarily actively decide to get involved, but I was actually approached by the MBA because I was already doing quite a bit as an alumni uh, before that. And uh, they knew that uh, I was already working with some current students on getting them into the consulting industry. And so they approached me because they wanted to switch up the mode a bit from it being well you know quite <laughs> understandably a bit of a corporate show to more of a let's say a safe space for students where they can ask a fellow alum how it really is to work in the industry and that's also what i tried to do with my model to rather than you know recruit people right away i <laughs> gave them a real insight of what it is to work in consulting um so i it was a half a day module and uh, I basically split it into three parts. So what is consulting for those who are not familiar with it? Um, how could it potentially get in? So the entire process of interviewing, case studies, etc., where we also did a case study um, prep themselves. And then the last part was a panel discussion um, where I had some of my former colleagues and friends from the consulting industry who were still working in consulting. Um, so they can really open the ask any question from work-life balance to yeah whatever they want to really know about the industry. So it was half a day and spread across, I guess, different modes of teaching, so to say. Uh, I ultimately decided uh, after spending about six years in consulting and I did three years of sales before that uh, to move to a more corporate role. So right now I'm in UBS and their strategy team which is uh, similar work in terms of uh, the, the consulting tool set. But obviously, it's a, it's a different perspective because you really can see uh, the direct impact of your work because you're not moving clients month by month, but you're rather sticking around for a longer time and you're growing together with that organization, which is a different challenge and also very fun. As mentioned, the corporate uh, the industry insights uh, used to be very much only driven by corporates, which of course uh, can't blame them. They're of course also there to represent their company and try to recruit, uh, but not necessarily give you an honest picture how it is to work in their company or their industry. Uh, and therefore I think uh, involving more and more alumni who are representing these industries, I think is very beneficial for the student because it allows them to ask, uh, I know there's no stupid question, but it does allow them to ask any question they want to ask uh, in a really safe space and kind of finding it out, you know, behind the glamorous, uh, advertising pictures of a company, what it really is to work there or in a specific industry. I mean, to be fair, I would say 80% were really, you know, if you're industry kind of obvious questions like oh, the work-life balance, you know, consulting is the classic. So that of course also came, but uh, there was also a question around salary, uh, which is, you know, to some a bit tricky, but personally, if you know Glassdoor.com, then that shouldn't be a, a really mysterious question anyways. I think the last or one question that really uh, I found very interesting uh, was the topic around family and consulting and how it's possible. And that even one of my family members then actually 
uh, in that essence, uh, you know, came out and said, yes, actually, you know, I'm pregnant right now and I'm working in the industry and it works out great, you know, I mean, at least for the moment, right? And then other also shared about their family experience, right? So I think that was something I didn't expect because it was, you know, it's a very personal question and I also wouldn't have expected any of my panel members to answer these personal questions. But um, yeah, it was, it was great because it exactly gave that platform to, um, you know, to answer these questions and to openly ask. Uh, uh, so when I graduated in 2016, I think uh, some things did change. I mean, we had a pandemic and, uh, you know, things things have been moving a lot. Uh, specifically in Zurich, speaking where I'm located since then, uh, I think it has gotten a lot more international. It was already international and it's gotten even more so with uh, the likes of Google coming here and AWS establishing, you know, bigger, bigger offices. And therefore, I think it has gotten a lot more international, even a, a better space also for international students to start a career afterwards. For me, it's important to give back to the MBA, A, because it's a lot of fun, to be honest, and uh, I always have a good time when I, I go back and engage from current students. And uh, the second point is just that network is, in my opinion, the most benefit you can draw from any MBA, not just high school, but I think any MBA network is um, yeah, really the main benefit you draw from it besides your education. Um, that really helps you in the rest of your life and your career journey. I actually first got involved uh, right after I graduated um, because they started as part of the mentoring program. So the University of St. Gallen offers um, for current students to pick mentors uh, that match with their potential next career in the stream. Uh, and so I was already, every year I had a mentee from the university and then uh, I got involved more and more um, also in other events that the, the university was hosting. And um, so I guess it's kind of a natural progression from there to then uh, host the Industry Insights model. Well, I mean, obviously there's a, there's always a lot of things, but uh, in essence, I think, um, I wish I would have uh, known how valuable the network really is from an MBA. Um, when I was a student, I also had a mentor and quite frankly, I didn't really make that much use of uh, him at the time because I kind of felt I already knew it all and don't need it. And in essence, in the hindsight, yeah, I really, you know, should have used that more actively because even though, you know, one might not need uh, that person in that specific moment, you know, it's always good to exchange and just to really grow your network because as mentioned before, right, this is the key benefit. And if you have an offer like this, you should really make full use of it and uh, yeah. That's, I think, the, the one thing I've learned now. So, I mean, maybe one last point uh, for anybody listening. Uh, it's it's really key to uh, also actively participate in your own MBA community because uh, every network is just as strong as uh, the participants. And therefore, you know, feel free to be actively uh, participating in your community, but also across communities because, you know, the more participants are active, the stronger the network gets.